Hi, it's Chris Watkin here and I'm with David Briley, who is the boss man of Easy Property. David, where do you stand on Portal Wars? Uh, I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I have joined the, the, or we have joined the Say No to Right Move campaign, not because I want to see Right Move or any other portal for that matter disappear, um, but I do think that they, their, their purpose is their purpose is changing. Their need to change is there, um, and I think their I think their pricing policy is um, actually iniquitous, to be frank. Um, I, you know, I think that, you know, again, if you take a self, somebody who wants to become a self-employed estate agent uh, under their own brand, you know, no umbrella, no, no, none of the, none of the um, ones that we've talked about, just wants to open a branch or even do it, do it from home, he's got to spend 900 quid a month just to get onto right move, and he might have two properties. So it's going to cost him 450 quid a month for two properties. Um, and that, that to me just doesn't, isn't right and and um i think that uh, you know all the portals will have to look to to change their model I, you know i don't think i don't think um for the time being certainly we'll be without them um i mean i i often wondered whether purple bricks with the volume of properties that they had actually would become another portal i mean i don't mean that they would convert to being a portal but they would be considered a portal because they had so many so many listings but that hasn't really happened um, so What's the issue with right move? Is, is it? I mean, some people would actually say, and I've actually gone on record to actually say that for plug and play estate agency, they do offer good value for money. Even though I've done lots of anti right move videos as well. Yeah, I know. I know you have. Um, I, I, I think that I, I, you know, if you use it well, there's a lot of data in there that you can use. A lot of a lot of insights. Um, and actually, as part of our recruitment process, when we're mapping out an area um, for a prospective um, agent. Um, local partner, we will say to them, and by the way, in those in those postcodes over the last 12 months, these are the number of properties that were listed, these are the number of properties that were sold, etc, etc, etc. So it's very, very valuable information that they have. And, and, and I think one of the problems that agents have is they don't use it. They just think it's a listing, it's a, just a means, of, just a newspaper, the equivalent of a newspaper. So they don't use it well enough. But I, but I think I would criticise right move as well or and, and zoopla for not actually engaging well enough with their customers uh, a few people have said that um th they're a gray man and you don't know who you're dealing with it's a it's a faceless organization yeah. is that yeah. a fair comment yeah. yeah very fair comment i mean i haven't heard from anybody in, in lockdown from from any of the portals do you think they care I'd like to think I'd like to think they do, but but you know they they you know we're in a we're in a situation uh, that none of us experienced before, and and you know the strong survive, and and the ones that are true leaders, the, the individuals that are true leaders, grab it by the scruff of the neck and do something about it. And maybe maybe we just don't have those leaders in those businesses, or if or if they are, they're so far up the tree that they don't they're not worried about what's going on on the ground. What about the challenger portals? Is there anything that's caught your eye on the, any of those? Yeah, I think um, home search mm -hmm. is in, is interesting. Um, you know, I, I think that um, we, we've seen on your market. Uh, we're not allowed on your market, so um, I can't really comment on them. But I, they've they've found it really hard, and and, and I can't really. Uh, I can't tell you why they've found it hard, but they have found it hard to compete with Zoopla and, and Rightmove. So I think any challenger portal will find it difficult. I mean, if they're offering free listings as Home Search are doing for the moment, I mean, there's going to come a time when they've got to they've got to earn, they've got to earn some money. Uh, so I don't really see. Um, and do we need uh, do we need other portals? I mean, the public know those two. Do we need a third, a fourth, a fifth? Do you think it would be good that we had multiple portals so we have almost like an open market? Or would it be just good for estate agents and not for vendors? I think that's good. You know, it depends. I think you know, if, if you're trying to if you're trying to win over consumers and you're trying to attract consumers, then if you give them too many places to go, they're never going to find everything they want in one place. But then you could almost turn around and say that that would force people to put themselves on mailing lists, which is the lifeblood of estate agents. Yeah, but that is a, that would be a backward step, wouldn't it? I'd have to disagree because by putting yourself on a mailing list, it means the agent can actually service the the person better. Because I'm of the opinion that, that the thing that's killed a state agency is CRMs and the portals. I, I think we've made we made a state agency lazy. Uh, that's certainly true of the portals and possibly CRM systems. Well, you put yourself in the system, and then the neg will never ring you. 
and, and or archive you almost straight away. Yeah, well, our method is is. Well, one of the problems with a state agency in the past, it's been very transactional. Um, and, you know, you sell a house, do the deal, say goodbye, thank you very much, and off you go, and you don't see them for another seven or 12 years. Um, whereas I think, you know, if you get into a nurture programme and you start nurturing people, you start... Well, that, that's good old-fashioned estate agency. It, it? it is, but you're doing it using technology to do it rather than the telephone or rather okay. than... So what does that look like then? That's just a CRM system that allows you to, to program, you know, you might, you might take six emails, you might put in their birthdays, you might put in their wedding anniversary, you might put in the day, they, the completion date, whatever you want to do that then triggers a personalised message <coughs> to that person. That's, you might even send them, you know, a present, a flowers, some flowers or something on the first anniversary. I mean, any number of things that you can do as long as you've got a system that reminds you because you can't keep it up here cool. all the time. So, that, this, you know, CRM systems are, are, are great tools, but they won't do the job for you. Somebody's got to put the information into it and feed it. What would you do if you were the boss of uh, Rightmove? I would sit down and I, and I would, I would, I think I would re... Uh, reassess the charging model uh, and actually try and, and, and understand how the state agency is changing because I don't think that they fully understand how it's changing. I mean, do you think it's fair that a one-man band pays four or five times more than a than a than a corporate estate agency? No. No, I, the simple. I mean, I'm pretty simple when it comes to these things. I just think that you know you pay per property. You might pay a you might pay a standing charge. As you do for your electricity meter or your telephone and then you pay per property whatever that figure might be so that you know we get a situation like this um, where you know we didn't get any listings so you, 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 your fee drops you know it may be more difficult to manage but again you know right move will have the technology to manage that very very easily very simply and what would you do if you were the boss of Zoopla? I think they're an, I think they're an interesting I don't I find that not not a particularly easy site to navigate. I think there's almost I mean there's, there's lots of very good information, but I think it's it's too it's too in your face. It it needs to be segmented a bit so that you can go and find you know if you want to find out about schools catchment areas or you want to find out about crime rates or then then you can go and do that. But it's sort of you know and suddenly you, then you get um, use switch and goodness knows else coming at you. Uh, well, that's the reason they bought it allegedly. I think that's right. What would your mess final message be to estate agents? Sitting on the fence about right move. I mean, are you guys going to leave right move? No. No. No, I think. But people... don't you need right move because of the simple fact is that you're not local estate agents? Yeah, I, I think you know. I think we do. We do need a portal. Estate agents need a, a receptacle to get the, 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 their properties out. You know, and and to be good, you've got to have really good presentation. You know, all the. Every single photograph that you see on Right Move, if it's not a premium listing or whatever else it is, if it's just a thumbnail, you know, if that photograph is not fantastic, you've got three seconds to get somebody to click on it to go through, and if you, and you they won't go back, you know, if you haven't clicked, if they haven't clicked on it, that's it, you've lost them. So presentation um, is very important, uh, and I think that uh, you know, I think they just, you know, I think agents need to sit back and say that is a is a valuable valuable tool. It's an expensive tool. Uh, but and possibly too expensive. But they, but they, if they managed that better, I mean, you know, you've seen the stats, Chris. There are there are stats about you know forty seven percent of co of calls don't get answered. Well, you know, I mean, I, I've spoken to people who've said, well, wow, all the leads are rubbish. Hang on a minute, you only you only you only um, answer fifty three percent of them. Yeah, but they're all rubbish. Yeah, what about the other forty seven percent that might not have been rubbish? True. Thank you for your time today.